I was sitting in the office this morning trying to plan what the next couple of films were and noticed that it was sunny and misty. So I've come legging it out here <coughs> to try and get a particular shot that I know of. And in the time it's taken to get here, the mist is pretty much gone. So what we can do is see what happens around the corner. There is always a sense of urgency when you see the right light. The whole point of rushing here was because the light was so brilliant this morning. We were sitting in the office planning some films about composition and this is one location we were going to use. We just thought, look at that light. Light is really, really important and it's about photographing the right thing in the right light. There isn't great light for everything. Look at the light on my face. It's bang on, it's harsh and it's not very good. But the light on those boats is absolutely brilliant. One side's nice and bright. The other side's got a bit of a shadow, which gives it texture. The weather's perfect, so we've got a great reflection. So, okay, we've missed the mist. I wanted to replicate this picture with mist. I can't, but we've still got a great opportunity. So let's take the shot. Let's take advantage of the fact we've got low level light. It's February, the sun's pretty low in the sky. So there's still lots going on. Right, as always, I use a tripod with a quick release because it's just, it slows you down, makes you think about your shot and gets your composition right when you're trying to hand hold things, particularly with a longer lens. And I'm going to be using a longer lens because the shot I want is of the boat and that lovely reflection and the calm water. That's where I'm going with this. Now, Behind the boat are the masts of Limington Quay. I don't really want them colliding with the mast of the big boat, so just by moving myself from side to side a bit, I can align them where I want. Let's get my camera up, set up, compose the shot. This is where tripods are brilliant. Now I'm actually gonna stick the boat pretty well near the middle because this is all about the boat. And I know there's the rule of thirds and all that stuff which is absolutely right. I'm running the boat up and down on a third, but I'm putting the hull near the middle. There we go. Not the tripod. Focus the camera. Right, always check your white balance settings and all that stuff. It's bright and sunny. I've got it on bright and sunny. I'm shooting a raw, fabulous. I want to add one last little element to really bring out this light. And that is a polarizing filter. Now, if we hadn't left in a hurry, I'd have grabbed my bag of Lee filters, which were in the cupboard, but I always keep a circular screw on in the bag for emergencies. The polarizing filter will cut out shattered light rays. It will enhance the reflection and it will give more contrast to the scene. It will probably darken the sky. The sun is off to the side a bit. If the sun was right behind me, it wouldn't work. If the sun was right in front, it wouldn't work. So let's put this in front of the camera check my composition now by holding the filter in front because this one doesn't actually fit this lens but it doesn't matter that it still works i can just hold it and rotate it until i get the effect i want perfect and there's our shot let me take one unpolarized you see what i mean polarizing filters make a great deal of difference in landscape photography so this low sun brings out textures, brilliant for landscapes, not so hot for portraits.